Would you like to make a podcast? Spotify has a way to let you make one easily, distribute it everywhere, and even earn money, all in one place, for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit right from your phone or computer, so you can start creating today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify, and everywhere else, podcasts are heard. And video podcasts are also available on Spotify. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, it's totally free. You know, ever since I discovered Spotify for Podcasters, I've enjoyed sharing my favorite stories with children around the world. If you've ever thought of starting your own podcast, download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to spotify.com forward slash podcasters to get started. The Classic Tale of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves Once upon a time, there was a queen who longed for a daughter. As she sat sewing by her window one winter's day, she pricked her finger on a needle. Three drops of blood fell from her finger, and she thought, I wish I could have a daughter with lips as red as blood, hair as black as the ebony on this window frame, and skin as white as the snow outside. Before long, she gave birth to a beautiful baby daughter with blood-red lips, ebony hair, and skin as white as snow. I will call you Snow White, whispered the queen to her new baby. But soon after, the queen died, and the king remarried again. His new bride was very beautiful, but also very vain, She had a magic mirror, and every day she would look into it and ask, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? And the mirror would reply, You, my queen, are the fairest of them all. As Snow White became more beautiful with every day that passed, her stepmother became more and more jealous. One day she asked the mirror, Mirror, mirror on the wall, Who's the fairest of them all? And the mirror replied, You, my queen, are fair, it's true. But young Snow White is fairer than you. When the queen heard these words, she was furious. She called for her huntsman. Take Snow White into the forest and kill her, she commanded. The huntsman had to obey the queen. He led the beautiful girl into the forest. When he pulled out his knife, Snow White was afraid and started to cry. Please don't hurt me, she begged. The huntsman took pity on her and decided to let her go. You must run as far from here as you can, he told her. And Snow White fled into the forest. As darkness began to fall, Snow White came upon a little cottage She knocked softly on the door, but there was no answer. She was so tired and frightened that she went inside anyway. There she found a table laid with seven places and a bedroom with seven little beds. Snow White lay down on the seventh bed and soon fell fast asleep. She awoke to find seven little men staring at her in amazement. Who are you? she asked. We are the seven dwarves who live here, said one of the little men. We work in the mines all day. Who are you? I am Snow White, she replied. When she told the dwarves her story, they were horrified. You can stay here with us, said the oldest dwarf. So every day the seven dwarves went off to work, and Snow White stayed at the cottage and cooked and cleaned for them. Do not open the door to anyone. They told her each morning, worried that the wicked queen would try to find her. Meanwhile, the wicked queen asked her mirror, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? And the mirror 
replied, "'You, my queen, are fair, it's true, "'but Snow White is still fairer than you. "'Deep in the forest, with seven little men, "'Snow White is living in a cozy den.' The wicked queen was furious and vowed that she would handle Snow White herself. She added a magic sleeping potion to a juicy apple, then disguised herself as a peddler woman and set off into the forest. Who will buy my apples? She called out as she knocked at the door of the dwarf's cottage. Now Snow White loved apples, but remembered that she must not open the door to anyone. Instead, she opened a window to take a look. When the peddler woman offered her an apple, she was nervous. There's no need to be frightened, said the disguised queen. She placed the apple in Snow White's hand. Snow White hesitated, but then took a bite. The magic potion worked the moment it touched Snow White's beautiful red lips, and she fell into a deep, deep sleep. When the seven dwarves returned home that evening, they discovered the evil act of the queen. And with the help of the animals of the forest, they trap her at the top of a cliff. As the evil queen reaches the edge of the cliff, a lightning strike makes her lose her balance. And she fell into the valley below. Heartbroken over their beloved Snow White, who appeared to be dead. Such grief they could not bear to bury her. Instead, the dwarves made a glass coffin for Snow White and placed it in the forest where they took turns watching over it. One day, a prince rode by. Who is the beautiful girl? asked the prince. The dwarves told the prince Snow White's sad story, and the prince wept. Kneeling beside Snow White to pay his respects, the prince gave her a small kiss, breaking the spell from the poison apple. As he started to stand, he saw Snow White's eyes open, and with a yawn, awoke from her deep, deep sleep. When Snow White saw the handsome prince, she fell in love with him. Will you marry me? asked the prince. Snow White happily agreed, and before long the couple were married. And they lived happily ever after. Thank you for listening to Bedtime Stories. Please make sure you follow us for more stories and, of course, share them with a friend. Until next time, good night.